Hello everyone, and welcome to Surviving Mars, the Kamars Colonization Simulator. Now, I know you, I've been gone for a little while, and uh, I know you've missed me, but here I am, back to give you some more content. I uh, figure that I'd try turning this into a new series, maybe. Might just see what happens. But like any other good game, you gotta start with the tutorial, right? Yeah, you see, I was uh, a bit busy, I mean. Welcome to Mars. Yeah. <laughs> I went to Tillamook, a little town in Oregon. Welcome to Mars, in this training exercise you will learn how to gather basic resources from the Martian surface, how to construct a small base, and how to refuel the rocket in order to send it back to Earth. Let's get started! Okay. Hints such as this one will appear throughout the training process, giving useful information on how to advance in your current tasks. Oh, so you're going to be reading this now? Okay. You need to master the camera controls and familiarize yourself with the terrain around the prospective colony site. Zoom! <laughs> oh! Okay, tilt or rotate, hold middle mouse or alt. Now it's time to land your first rocket. Landing, okay, land first rocket. With the rocket selected, designate a landing site on the indicated location. Rockets. You need to send rockets before you can send people, right? <laughs> it's there. And we have touchdown. Drones. The rocket has landed on Mars. Uh, it carries drones, remotely controlled robots that can constitute your construction and resources gathering workforce. Gathering basic resources for building construction is, mo is one of the first things a Martian base needs. Place a metal depot so that the drones begin automatically bringing metal from the scarred surface and get deposits nearby. Go gather five metals. Why am I talking about this? I don't know. Open the build menu. Storage. Depot. Well, obviously should be next to all these things, right? Speed up. Okay. Plus or minus to change the speeds. Okay. Space the pause. Okay. Our rocket carries valuable resources that will be essential for the construction and maintenance of the colony. Initially, it's best to designate a universal depot, so the drones... A universal depot, okay, got it. Universal. Along with metals, concrete is the other vital basic construction resource. Okay. I need to make an extractor. Oh, where's my concrete at? Whoops. Oh, wait, is this concrete? Con concrete. Con this is a concrete deposit. Okay. In production. Concrete. convenient that's telling me where to place it okay well done now observe how the drones will carry all the resources to the site and then construct the concrete extractor okay yeah that that, that, that sounds good mr. narrator man oh look at that little guy 
guys doing Like it? most buildings, the concrete extractor needs power in order to operate. Power, yes, of course. Having a reliable electrical grid and supply is essential for the success of the colony. Yeah, of course. Uh, Star Sterling generator. Okay, electricity, sterling. What's this do? Resources are low. Uh, it's not telling me what I need to make it. But okay, I'm just gonna. Well, I guess I can't make it. Connect the sterling generator and the concrete extractor using a power cable from the build menu to power up the extractor. Not efficient. So. Waste rock powered. is a byproduct of all extractors and is best stored at designated locations. This way, you can ensure that it will not be in the way of future construction. will pick pending tasks on their own within the range of the drone controllers they are assigned to. Okay. Goes back to the rocket. Drone hub. Ah, this is gonna be drone stuff for you. And he's electricity. Drones run on batteries that have to be recharged periodically. Okay. What's this? No, no, I don't want that. I want this. And a charging bat. There's maybe electricity cup. Maintaining a steady supply chain between Earth and Mars is essential, especially during the early colonization stages. Fuel refinery. Okay. No, I keep clicking on that. Life support. Build a moisture. You say so. It should be centralized, right? Oh, I see water stuff is there. The electricity. Expecting it all. We don't have sufficient power for all the buildings in the colony. Okay, uh, not enough power, we make another generator. So that's it, simple. Keeping it simple. Right. A system of pipes is used to deliver pipes. resources such as water and air where they are needed. Okay, okay uh, 
the seeds water. Yes. Fuel production is now underway, and the drones will begin to deliver the fuel to the rocket. Fuel. Resources are low. Low power. Just the launch button. Yeah, launched a rocket. Let's Congratulations. You have finished the first tutorial. Okay, I know the basics. Next tutorial. Welcome, Commander. In this training exercise, you will get acquainted with one of your most valuable tools, rovers. Okay, rovers. Rovers are vehicles with a variety of useful functions in transporting resources, commanding drones, and analyzing anomaly anomalies. That word. <laughs> we have direct control over all rovers in the colony. Okay. Now let's try moving around. Duh. There we go. The RC transport can load and carry resources around the map. Let's use it to refuel the nearby rocket. Yes. By rocket. Oh, it's in the. Uh, it's in another sector. I suppose that's kind of nearby. That's a neat-looking machine, isn't it? Now order the RC transport to unload the fuel next to the rocket. Some drones are left without a controller after the rocket launch. If they lose their controller, they'll look for new 
game controllers. Okay. Press and hold, okay. Reassign to this. The RC transport is able to gather resources directly from surface deposits without the help of drones. Let's set up a small expand some distance away from the main base. Nice work. Yes, nice work. This game actually looks pretty darn nice. Not gonna lie. Look at those solar panels. They're triangles. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Commander, one other thing. Okay, so the RC Commander is a mobile drone controller that carries its own drones. Okay. With its help, you can gather resources from surface deposits, construct and maintain buildings, but moving far distances. Okay. Rover that holds drones. So it's like I'm able to have these uh, small drones follow around the rover. Yeah. Kind of like a nest almost, where you got like a whole bunch of like little creatures inside of you. You got to move the nest, you move that thing. Actually, a hive might be a better example if you think about it. We need to construct a new sensor tower to scan the nearby environment. Okay, new sensor tower. Right there. Sterling powers. Sterling. Good job. Yes, good job. Everything's coming together. It's time to learn about scanning sectors and exploration. Scanning sectors and exploration. You can scan sectors of the map to discover new resources and anomalies. Okay. Portal probe. You can also queue sectors for scanning. What? I can queue them. Thank you. 
Well done. Now it's time to use our fully operational RC Explorer to analyze the anomaly. Anomaly found. Ooh, anomaly. Good job. Oh. <laughs> okay, come on. Can you hurry this up? You got like six wheels, so that means you should be able to drive pretty darn good. The anomaly has yielded interesting insights into new technologies. Ooh. Researching new technologies, new options for the colony. Domes and upgrades. Anomalies often provide bonus research as it unlocking new technologies for research or providing research points. Okay. The research. This is the research screen. From here you can choose and queue text for research. Okay. Ooh, robotic tools. Research. Commander, oh. one other thing. Cost research points, which are generated. Okay. Nice work. Now you know how to handle rovers. I can handle rovers. Isn't that swell? Welcome, Commander. It looks like this forward base has gone through a major dust storm. Okay, I need to fix it up. Okay. Oh. First things first. Let's remove some... Un remove. Okay, yeah, scrap it. Now, let's get that drone hub operational. Drone hub. Come on. We need our power back. Come on, little guys. You'd think they'd send more than two. We have some power, but it's not enough. Yeah, yeah, you already had some. We can use the machine parts left from the concrete extractor to build a wind turbine. Build a wind turbine, okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Can't just fix these ones. I suppose not. What does it even need? One more concrete. Okay, we can do that. Even no. with the wind turbine. There won't be enough electricity to power the base, especially during the night. Okay. Oh. 
You managed to get okay. things operational, but this won't last, as buildings require maintenance, and we are out of resources. Okay, I need to repair things every like six or seven days. We need more metals to secure this base. Yes, more metal, okay. Resources are low. Good job. However, we need more than just metals. Fortunately, we can call a resupply rocket from Earth. Let's do some cleaning up around the base while we wait for the rocket to arrive. Resources.
think I might have broke the game. Oopsies. Gonna try to rush ahead and cause the tutorial welcome crash. back commander well, in this crash. tutorial you will finally familiarize yourself with the challenges of sustaining a society on Mars Foundations for bringing your first colonists have already been laid down. One of the final things left to do is to provide the founders with living space. Okay. That's carefully planned. They need houses to sustain themselves, okay? Makes sense. I, I mean, I live in a house too. You know, houses are kind of nice. Build, my little robots. Build. Preparations complete, the colony is ready for the arrival of the founders. Okay, order passenger From this screen, you can inspect all available applicants and determine you may want to review and hand pick individual candidates for the founders. Colonists will arrive on Mars with a small amount of food, but it will not last long. We need to make sure that they will be able to produce their own food on the Red Planet. The hydroponic farm can produce food. Although the colonists can take food directly from a food depot, they will be happier if they can pick it up from a grocery. Colonists need service buildings to keep them comfortable on Mars. The grocery that you already constructed is one such service building. Colonists drunk while they're on a different planet. What could go wrong? Where's the little builder guy? All hail the 
my beer and other liquids. New colonists have arrived. Great. Now that you have a space bar, you can customize its work settings. Termination. The first founders have set foot on the red planet. Okay, yes. So they just need to survive, right? Healthy colonists at working age Whatever. are able to fill any position, but how well they perform at a certain position varies between colonists. Okay. Work shifts, among other things, are a way to manage your workforce. The more shifts a building has open, the more colonists it will attract to work there. Okay. Buildings with higher priority will be allocated workers, power, and maintenance before others. With the research lab up and running, let's begin researching some technologies. Congratulations. 
you have provided everything needed for a successful founder stage. You have completed the tutorial for the founder stage. Okay. Next tutorial, okay. Is it the last one? Welcome back, Commander. In this tutorial, you will manage a larger colony that consists of multiple domes. Shuttles can transport resources and colonists across great distances. Now that we have operational shuttles, it's time to establish a mining dome. A mining dome. Thunder production. Okay. Rare metals. Yes. Connecting it to power grid. Okay. Well, that's simple enough. There are no colonists in the mining dome. We must provide living space for the colonists so they can move there. Okay, yeah, that wasn't too bad. Living. Don't forget to provide basic services for the citizens of your new dome. Space bot. Yep. Our goal is a basic service. You can set up filters for every dome to attract colonists with desired traits and block or push out colonists with undesired ones. Being near a rare metals deposit, this dome is best suited as a mining hub. So it's best to encourage geologists to migrate here. Okay, geologists. This dome has been designated for research purposes, so it's best to attract more colonists with the scientist specialization.
colonists can migrate between domes using shuttles or walking when they are positioned close to one another. However, they cannot usually visit buildings in nearby domes on a daily basis unless they are connected to their own dome. Probably really expensive to build one of these domes. Man, it's really expensive to make one of these domes. Look at that. Under construction. Let's see uh, this thing get built. Oh, 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 oh. Construct done. two farms in the new dome. They will be used as workplaces for the colonists in the old dome once the domes are connected. Domes positioned closely to each other may be connected with passages. Okay, yeah. Makes sense. I mean... Good job. Good job. Yes. Connected so people can walk in between. Some buildings can have upgrades that can improve them in various ways. Okay, yeah. Extractor amplification tech. Okay. No active research. Oh wait, it's eighteen percent. Oh 
Well, this game is pretty nice, isn't it? Congratulations. With the research complete, a new upgrade for your extractors is now available. It is not automatically activated in your buildings. You? Nice work. The upgrade has been constructed. The command center is a treasure trove of information about the colony. Congratulations, Commander. You have graduated from the International Mars Mission Training Simulation. Okay. Well, everybody, I hope you liked that. <laughs> uh, I, it's kind of boring, but it's just tutorials. You know? Might as well do it. And uh, if you guys like what this game appears to be, well, you want to give this video a like, maybe comment down below telling me uh, what I should call my first settlement. Or whatever, I don't know. Maybe my second settlement, or maybe a city or something. I don't know, just please like, maybe subscribe. And as always, it's been me, Black Cat Gaming. I hope you have a wonderful day.